So we want to look at one more example of an applied multiplication problem. So in this one, John's building this fort for his son, and he's going to use 35 bricks for the length, and he's going to use 25 bricks tall. So we're going to assume that it's an empty fort, that it's going to be solid. So how many bricks would there be completely if it's just a solid fort? So when I look at that, it says that we want to know how, it says how many bricks. Well, if I've got a length and I've got a height, I'm going to have to multiply those to find everything that's in between them. So I've got 35 bricks, and I'm going to multiply that by 25. When I do that, 5 times 5 is 25, carry your 2, 15 plus 2 is 17, 2 times 5 is 10, carry your 1, 3 times 2 is 6 plus 1 is 7. So I'm going to get 875. Now, some of you may have looked at that and been like, oh, 25, I could relate that to money. And you'd come out with $8.75, and then you have to make some adjustments. Can you do that? Sure. However it makes sense in your mind is how you want to solve this problem. 